A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint, dill, and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice, mercy, and faith. It is these you ought to have practiced without neglecting the others. You blind guides, you strain out a gnat but swallow a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you clean the outside of the cup and the plate, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup so that the outside also may become clean. Jesus um, sparing nobody's feelings in this encounter with the scribes and the Pharisees and saying to them, look, you major in the minors. You, carry, you carry, care about the tiniest detail while missing the main point. And it's easy when we're trying to live a faithful life, as the Pharisees and scribes were trying to do, trying to adhere to the law, trying to be attentive. And part of being a person who follows Christ, who follows God in this case, um, they were attentive to the law that had been given them by Moses, by God. It's not like they were making these things up themselves. They're trying to do what God has asked of them. So it feels um, a little harsh for Jesus to be quite so upset that they're attempting to follow the law laid out for, for them by the one who sent Jesus himself, the ultimate word. But he says, I'm here to offer you a course correction or at least a caution never to let yourself get so tied up in the tiny things, in the minutia, in the details, in the practice, in the communal practice, in the arguments about the communal practice. Don't get so caught up in those things that you forget the main point, which is that God has created each and every living being, every person, to be a reflection of that eternal word, and most especially in the person of Jesus. We've seen now this person who so embodies what it means to be human, and divine and to give us that that roadmap of what it looks like to be faithful. And of course, Jesus was a person in his own practice who would often scandalize others because he seemed not to know his rules, his etiquette book quite as well as others did. And that's because he came to say, there are things that are essential and things that are not essential. Pay attention to the essential things. He then goes on, and, and our reading today ends with him pointing to the difference between paying attention to the outside, to the externals, versus paying attention to the inside, to the internals. And that works for each one of us as um, an individual, and it can work for us in a communal sense as well. What does it mean? We should always be attentive to how it is we present ourselves. That's one of the ways that um, others can see what it looks like to follow Christ. We are communicating, whether we're talking or not, by living our lives, and, and we are seen by others from the outside. But Jesus says the key to projecting and exuding and um, living this wonderful life that we've been given in God, the key to it is not to look at it from the outside and buff it up and, and try to make, make it look prettier. It's to pay attention to it from the inside out. That if you get the inside right, if you get the internal um, disposition and you get the, the directionality of your life and following Jesus and understanding what the main things are and what the not so main things are, paying attention from that internal space and to that internal space, the external takes care of itself. So God is with us um, no matter what shape we find ourselves in this day, but let us hear Jesus' words and encourage us to major in the majors, not the minor, and to, um, and to look inside check ourselves and if we're feeling a little dingy or a little um, our shine is our luster is a little bit gone rather than trying to buff that up from the outside pay attention invite god invite christ into your life into your heart into your day into this moment ask god's presence with you right now and going forward and let the rest um, unfold in god's good grace may god be with you this day may god bless you and keep you this day and always Amen.